Hey YouTube, this is Tamo from Let's Play with TJ. I'm here with Pample. Hello! And today we're going to learn you guys some information. Me and Pample realize that the information that children of today is lacking, as opposed to the children of yesterday. So we're going to teach you some useless information that you won't need outside of school. We're going to teach you about stoichiometry. There it is, spelled for you in lava. Yep. But what is stoichiometry, you might ask yourself. Well, for that we go to the scientists. Pample, what is stoichiometry? Well, let's see. Stoichiometry is the branch of chemistry concerned with the proportions in which elements are combined in compounds and the quantitative relationships between reactants and products in chemical reactions. Uh. Okay. Well, what my friend means to say is that. Oh, geez. Um. Well, basically what it is, is that it's the process of finding how many reactants you need to make a certain amount of products. Let me explain with the example of a wooden sword. We know that it takes two wooden planks to make a wooden sword. Two wooden planks. But what stoichiometry does is it, tells, it helps us to find how many wooden planks it takes to make, say, four wooden swords. So here we have the basic setup to a stoichiometry equation. First we know that we want four swords. And we also know that it takes two wooden planks to make a single sword. By going through this equation we know that it takes eight wooden planks to make four swords. Now I have my four wooden swords. So let's take it a step further. How many wooden swords does it take to kill a certain amount of zombies? First we have to know how many how many hits a zombie can take from a wooden sword before it dies. Pample? Six. And Pample, how many hits can a wooden sword give before it breaks? Sixty. So from that we we know that a wooden sword is able to kill s 10 zombies before it breaks, correct? Correct. Now, you may be asking yourself, how do we know that it takes 6 hits from a wooden sword to kill a zombie? Well, from extensive research, my friends. Oh, oh, oh. So now let's take it a step further. And say, how many wood, wooden planks does it take to kill, say, 50 zombies? Now, we can't convert wooden planks straight over to zombies. There ha First, we have to convert wooden planks to swords, and then from swords to zombies. And that's where you really need stoichiometry. How will this apply to real life, you might ask? Well, it applies. Trust me. Before we go on to the next clip, first I'd like to explain uh, exactly how to do the equation, or the problem that was just stated. We know that it takes two planks to make one sword. We also know it takes one sword to kill ten zombies, and we want to kill fifty zombies. Do all the math that I've just written out, and it comes out to being 10 wooden planks in total that are needed to make the amount of swords necessary to kill 50 zombies. Now let's watch this put into action. Pample! Pample! Uh, I have 5 wooden sticks. There are 50 zombies out there. Show me down enough wooden planks to make, to make the swords necessary to kill them all. Quick, quick, quick! Uh... Matt? Matt? This isn't enough wooden planks! I know! <laughs> no! 
No, 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 no. Ah.